Hi, I'm Paul. I'm going to talk a little bit about, about extreme weather events and uh, climate change, how they're related. You may have noticed, if you look, ever look out the window or walk outside, that extreme weather events are taking off around the world. You know, some regions are in drought, like California. Other regions are, in, uh, are getting torrential rainfall. For example, you know, Calgary gets flooded out, Toronto gets flooded out, massive rainfall events. Even whole uh, states, like Colorado, uh, get inundated, and or countries like the UK. So why is this happening? This is happening because we're getting stuck uh, jet streams. Jet streams are slowing down and uh, becoming very, very wavy. If you happen to be on the crest of the wave, you get very, very warm and wet temperatures. If you happen to be in the trough of the wave, like North America this winter, very, very cold temperatures. So why is this happening? Why are the jet streams so wavy, so bizarre, so distorted? Well, the answer is that the temperature gradient between the equator and the uh, North Pole are, is decreasing rapidly because the Arctic is warming like crazy. Why is the Arctic warming like crazy? Because the snow and the uh, snow cover, sea ice, are rapidly, exponentially declining. So it's warming like crazy because it's a much darker region. It's absorbing a lot of energy from the sun. So it's warming like crazy. So where are we going to head? What's, what's next? Well, these extreme weather events are going to ramp up a lot. You know, if the sea ice goes in the next couple of years, I expect it, or, uh, you know, at least a factor of 10 or 20 times increase in frequency, severity, duration, and uh, much more different areas over which extreme weather events will occur. Thank you.